is that aging is fatal. But you look at the data and you find nobody really dies of old age. They die of diseases that accompany old age, which are largely preventable. Everybody believes that aging is irreversible. Now, that's also a misconception because if you remove toxins from your body, if you learn to get the stress out of your life through meditation, if you change your environment, mm -hmm. and if you go to undergo certain procedures like increase antioxidants in your diet, you can actually reverse the biological markers of aging, like your hormone levels will reverse. There's a sex steroid called dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate. Lost me there. <laughs> DHEA mm -hmm. for short. And as people grow old, this sex steroid, it goes down, but you can actually reverse it through these procedures. You can change the blood pressure, you can improve your hearing, you can improve your eyesight. In short, all the things that we think go with the aging process are reversible. Most people think aging is normal, but what's normal? Perhaps we are confusing the normal with the psychopathology of the average, which is dull and uninteresting. I mean, there are people who are 25 and look 40 and behave like 40. There are people who are 60 and behave and have the biology of a person who's 30. And what we say is that was just they had good genes. No, but that's another misconception. We think that aging has a genetic component. And yet, that's only a very partially true statement. If your parents lived up to be more than 80 years, mm -hmm. it adds only three years to your life. But you can do things with your stress in the life, with the toxins in your environment, with your food, with your lifestyle, that can add 30 to 50 years, much more time to your life. And not only life to your years, but years to your life, both the quality and the quantity. And that you override the genes. Most people think you know, aging is universal, but there are organisms in this world that never age. Like? Like microorganisms, like protozoa, like certain other species, like the hydra. They keep up their metabolism in such a way that their catabolism... No, but they're not human beings. But listen, they're part of nature. What it means is that in nature there are mechanisms... Mm -hmm. And there's, we have a biological clock that can respond to mechanisms. We are the only species, as we said earlier, mm -hmm. who's aware of this, so we can change it. Right, because we're the only species that knows we're aging when we're aging. That's right. And to, be no, to know that, you, can in, you have a feedback loop of information. You can it. use that to influence the whole process. Right, that's why people say you're only old as you think, because it's that whole 40 thing. Absolutely. I'm going to be 40, and people are already asking me, how are you going to feel? Right, exactly. And when, when, in fact, now science tells us that our biological potential is at least, and I don't even buy that, I think it's much more, but current prevailing scientific wisdom says our biological potential is 130 years, which means till you're 70, you don't even begin middle age. This is the best time of your youth. Yes!